In this video, we'll be seeing seeding in Laravel. So when we want to add some dummy data or some specific data set that we want to insert to our database while creating the project or whenever you need, so you can use seeders. So we'll be seeing how to use seeders to insert some data to the database. So for that, we can start creating a seeder first. So you can use the command php artisan make cedar and then the name of the file. So we are back inside our project. Hope you remember if you haven't seen the previous video uh, on the previous video, we discussed about migrations in Laravel. So if you haven't watched that, you can watch that. I'll give the link to the playlist on the description so you can watch that. So now we'll be seeing about cedars. So let's create one. So open the terminal and we can create a cedar php artisan make cedar then give the name of the cedar so let's create a cedar for inserting some dummy user details hit enter and you can create the cedar file so the cedar file is created on this directory you can see inside the database cedars and then you can see the file name so let's go to directory database and inside that we are having our factories migrations and cedars so open the cedars folder and you can see we are having two files and this is our file okay so we are creating a new one and doing inside that so we are not going to use this one so let's you create a new one and here we'll be writing our logic to insert the values so we are going to insert some dummy values. So if you scroll down, you can see how you can create some random values here. So we are going to write the code inside the run method and we can create some random strings. So on user table, we are having name, email, password, email verified, etc. So we are going to insert some values only uh, just for testing purpose. So we are going to uh, run this command. So let's copy this one I will explain it and we can add that code here paste it here so here you can see we are inserting into the table users and we are inserting name email and password and uh, the name is string random of 10 so it will be a random string and uh, the next one is also a random string combined with at example.com okay and then we are also creating a hashed password also that's it very simple so now we can import all the classes so click here and if you are using php storm you can use this shortcut click on the class name and type alt enter and you can see import class so you have to make sure that the class is properly imported you have to add the use statement here okay so if you are using vs code you can either type it or you can use extensions so let's import the str class also click here and we are having multiple str classes so you have to use this one illuminate slash support slash str and the hash also import the class and that's it so here we can see we imported all the needed classes so add this use statement on the top and you are good to run it so now we can run this and test so previously we already migrated and created some tables so we are having the users table here so if you check the users table we are having name email and password email verified at and remember token then the timestamps that is created at and updated at so we are going to insert name email and password only okay so let's open the terminal first of all run the project php artisan serve hit enter so the project is running now we have to open the samp dashboard so start the apache and mysql inside samp and you can open the admin for the mysql option that is php my admin open that inside chrome now open the database that we created on the previous video that is my demo app so open that and here we are having the users table 
you can see inside the users table we are not having any values so we are going to insert some random values into this users table so if you haven't watched the previous video on migrations watch that video first then you can know how to create this database table etc so watch that first and continue along now open the cedar file now we have to run this one so let's open the terminal and we can open a new terminal okay and here we can type the command to run the cedar so that is php artisan db colon seed then we can specify the class name that is hyphen hyphen class equal to give the name of the class that was user seed and you can hit enter and it will run the seeder so you can see seeding database so let's open the php my admin and refresh the users table refresh the table and you can see one value has been entered so if you run that command again another value will be inserted so it will go on until you run it so each time you run it only one row will be inserted so let's run it once more one row is inserted let's run it once more another row is inserted let's go back and refresh the page let's refresh the page and you can see three row see hope you understand that now we'll be seeing how to automatically insert like a hundred rows or something like that so we can see how you can do that so if you go to the documentation you can see something like using factories okay we are going to use factories to do that okay so let's see how we can do that you can read the documentation and understand a lot more details here there's a lot more things going on here you can read that so next we can see how to use the factories so for that you can create a new factories file inside the factories folder we are having one default one we are going to create a new one so let's open the terminal and let's use the command php artisan make factory and give the name of the factory let's make it like user factory and hit under so the file is created let's go to the folder and open this one now here inside the definition method we are going to specify what we want to uh, return maybe like a random name random email etc just like we did inside the cedar we are going to do that inside the factory right now so first of all come here on the first line and hit enter now we can specify the model dollar model you can see protected model equal to we are going to specify for which model you are going to do this so that is user model so we haven't seen about models so we'll be seeing that uh, in the next video so for now we are going to use a default model that is already inside the laravel that is users model so let's do that model users class so you can see on the top the model is also imported that is the use statement is added app slash models slash users so if you go to the app folder inside the models you can see user.php see this is our model so this is for interacting with the user table so we'll be seeing that in the next video in detail so let's go with the video for now so we are going to create a random name now so let's specify name we are going to create a unique email save email can give a comma and hit enter then we are also going to insert password also so let's create password you can use the method bcrypt and we can give password and that's it it will create a random passwords now give comma okay that's it so we are going to only insert name email and password so you can also use something like a string of random something so previously used we used something like this right so string 
inside the string class you can call the method random and give the length so you can use something like that also here okay so after defining the definition function we can go to the seeder class so this is our factory class for the seeder this one okay so we are going to run the seeder class so for that before that we got to change this okay this was the previous code this will only enter one value so instead of that we are going to use the factories so that is use a model and we can use the method that is factory and we can uh, say the count let's say 100 so we're going to insert 100 values 100 user okay and then we can use create that's it so if you're having any doubt how all these are connected i'll show you so inside the factory we are defining the model and inside the cedar we are actually using the model and calling the factory so all these are linked like that okay so it will automatically dictate and work on the behind so let's run this so let's open the terminal and run the command this one php artisan db seed hyphen hyphen then give the name of the class and hit enter so now you can see it is taking some time because it is entering 100 values so all the data has been inserted now so let's go to the php my admin and refresh the page and check go to php my admin let's refresh the page see now we are having 103 values so the three values that we inserted previously and then the 100 one that we inserted right now okay so hope you understand how to use seeders to insert values to your database so these are dummy values so when you are testing your application and all you can do something like that and you can test your application okay so hope you understand that you can also use seeder to insert values like if you're having a set of countries name or maybe currency name etc so if you want to insert something like that currency symbol currency name etc you can use seeder so it will be useful uh, you don't have to insert all those data every time you can simply run the seeder and it will be added to the database according to your logic so hope you understand about seeders and factories in laravel if you have any doubt leave a comment below you can also join our discord and whatsapp group and ask your doubts there if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos